Changes are on the way for the Port of Virginia. Today, top port executives unveiled their plan for the future regarding both the expansion of the port's channels and the railways. Emily Harrison has a closer look at the plans and the impacts still felt in Hampton Roads because of what happened in Baltimore. The collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge shocked the nation and strained shipping channels up and down the East Coast. Stephen Edwards, CEO of the Port of Virginia, says leadership in Hampton Roads immediately took action to help their neighbor. In the interim, we've handled maybe 15, 20,000 more container loads that we know were Baltimore, but there's been more on top of that perhaps because exporters have had to use us during this period also. Now months later, Edward says the initial rush of cargo is nearing an end. The Port of Baltimore is expecting more shipping channels to open by this month. Virginia House Speaker Don Scott honored the Port of Virginia during the State of the Port Conference for its dedication during the shipping crisis and the port's economic growth. A world leader here at the Port of Virginia and the investment that the Commonwealth of Virginia has made in the port is returning tremendous returns. However, the work is not over. Edwards unveiled several initiatives to make the shipping channels at the Port of Virginia both the deepest and widest on the East Coast. This is in addition to expanding the port's railway gateway, which is already the largest on the East Coast. We've got a lot to be immensely proud of because it isn't every day that you get to handle these cargoes, and our team did it really well. Once everything is completed, Edward says the port will have unrestricted vessel sizes coming through Hampton Roads, bringing more businesses and containers to our area. Emily Harrison, 13 News Now. And Edward says the entire project to widen and deepen the port will last until at least 2027.